All right, Mr. Hartley. We'll just get you back to your room. That'd be nice now, won't it? Hmm? Much better, yes. We're doing some more tests. Someone will come and get you after lunch tomorrow. Is it now? It feels like a lifetime, but God damn it, I can't remember. Don't blame yourself. I suppose it's not so bad, really. At least I don't count the days. I still remember her like this, you know, she was so beautiful. Sometimes I'm scared that I've forgotten some wonderful moment. But at least I don't count the days. Each day is a blessing, Nicholas. Until you're alone. And you're just waiting to die. Like a goat stuck on a fence waiting for the wolves to move in. They're doing some more tests. Oh, yes. Don't worry, Nick. You won't be alone. Sometimes I hear the noises. I don't want to be kept in that... that zoo. Is it a fire? It's the dinner bell. You afraid? Eh? Of what? Of dying. Well, there's no reason. You have to go sometime. We were afraid once, too. Remember? When we were younger. The young hold to life much more tightly. Well, death was a lot more real then. It shared our every breath. It lived in our homes.
I don't think I'm going to last for much more of tonight. You sleep. I'll watch you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Hartley, Mr. Sloan, time for bed. He's already sleeping. Do leave him. I'm sorry, Mr. Hartley, but we really can't. Do you know when we met, uh, Marion? I remember when you came in. Uh, no, no, not us. Uh, him and me, he and I. I wasn't aware you knew each other. Oh, well, no. Of course you weren't. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing. It's one of the clearest memories of my life. One of the few. It was in the war. Everything that happened to us happened in the war. Our camp was Stelag Luft III. Uh, dry, really. We were prisoners, it was a German word. We should go. We were both officers, but Isaac here was Jewish. An Irishman fighting in the RAF. They didn't know he was Jewish. He'd been there one or two days before they found out. Oh, oh they worked him hard. Every day hauling blocks from one side of the yard to the other, and then beating him if he fumbled so much as a brick. Why? It was torture. You see, they were... they were torturing him in front of us. And then, when night came, the guard wouldn't even let him lie down to sleep. It was then I realized that they were going to kill him. They were going to kill him while we watched. Oh, my God. So I bashed the guard's head in with a bucket. I can still see the blood. Deceptively innocent, like water. It was pitch black that night. Didn't you get into trouble? Oh, they just assumed that Isaac had done it, because that night he escaped. We had been digging a tunnel, and I made sure that Isaac got out with the rest. I gave him my place. And then after the war, when we were all free, he came and found me. And we've minded each other ever since then. He was the person I loved most, other than my wife. So you see, Marion, I, I can't let you wake him. The man needs his rest. I'll... <clears throat> I'll watch him through the night, if you get yourself to bed. Oh. Marion, what room am I in? Ten B, Mr. Hartley. Oh, and Mr. Hartley, they're taking you to the Alzheimer's ward tomorrow, aren't they? Yes. Good night, Marion. Isaac. 
mi řekl. Uh, a je řekl. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. to you, God, a life well lived. 